The Cypress Wind Project is located uh, just southeast of, of uh, Medicine Hat, near the, the hamlet of Dunmore. It's approximately just under 250 megawatts, 48 uh, wind turbines. And we've been working on the project since 2015. Um, that was our initial, I guess, first contact in the area where we met with some landowners. And uh, we started construction uh, summer of last year. So, you know, all in all, seven years, you know, the project's been working on the project and the guys are really, really rolling now in construction and hoping to be finished by the end of the year. We truly value landowners' opinions and, and comments and truly get them involved in the development of the project. So we recognize that we are outsiders of the community and we are basically renting their land. And we want to value that and we want to include that into our, our project. And so any kind of comments they have in terms of where the turbines will be placed, roads and collection, we want to include that in so that when the project is built, they are happy and also we are happy. With EDF being our first project for wind power or renewable energy in Cypress County, there's been a lot of stepping stones and we're finding things that we overlooked. Uh, we get them implemented and in place and EDF has been working right along with us to, to follow those rules and regulations. And I think they understand that it's the first one for us too, so they've been well to work with and great for future renewable energies coming in. This part of the province has, has a very great wind resource and uh, we figured it's a great opportunity to team up with a company like EDF to uh, promote the product, uh, renewable energy, and it's great not only for us in the agriculture sector but also for renewables as a whole. And we do have the resources in this part of the province to help support that. We're going to eventually run out of oil and natural gas at home. And now we want to engage in this new alternative energy and we're gonna do it properly. Partnering with EDM has been one of the more progressive business partnerships that we've engaged. We wanna be able to produce uh, electricity that is much needed by Albertans, Canadians, North Americans. So our Black Spring Ridge project um, here in southern Alberta went very smoothly. We were very welcomed by the community and which then transformed over into uh, Cyprus as well and the county welcoming us back into the area. We have huge support from our local organizations with our community fund and we are excited to expand that into Cyprus. Typically in our projects that we've developed we try to establish what we call a community benefit fund. So we, uh, we work with them to develop uh, a, local, a local hockey rink that will be sort of a bit of a hub for the community in, in the town of Dunmore. And that's on construction right now and we're, we're looking very excited to get some of the team on the ice. This really goes a long way to allowing us to support our community and do additional events and projects. And uh, it wouldn't have been possible again without, without EDF support. This is a real tangible a real tangible example of how industry, other governments and a tribal government can work together and really uh, uh, make it a success. So trustworthiness is a big part and we certainly you know, trust our other partners, we hope they trust us. We're very excited to you know, get to the project to commercial operation. You know, a few more months here and the project will be up and running. We'll be generating clean electricity. We'll be taking advantage of, you know, Alberta and this particular part of the province's natural renewable resources. You know, landowners in the area will be generating money, taxes will be going to the local community, and we'll be employing lots of local people in the project itself.